We are back with more auction and not included. Thank you very much for joining me. My name is Biffa and don't forget to check out the link below in the description for an extra 35% off the clay survival bundle. Thank you very much for clay as well for sponsoring this video and we've got some things to do. Let's check out the temperature down here. I made a note of this before. Was it this one or this one? 28.1 degrees C. Well, whichever one it was, we're now up to 30. It is going up. The temperature is getting hotter and hotter. So we are going to do some research. We are going to let's research. I'll tell you what I'm going to do is filter this with heat. There we go. And that will show us. Ha ha. We want to get this one here. The insulated tile. So I've already. Let's just get rid of that. I've already started researching up to here. So it's going to take a while. But we're going to insulate our base. Uh, I also want to turn this room. Uh, from a mess hall into a great hall and the only difference is well you get like instead of morale plus three you get morale plus six but you need mess table that we've got decor item plus 20 and a recreational building and the size is fine well this counts as a recreational building um the decor the mirth leaves that we've got before give us uh, let's have a look at this one here which one's the decor that one there plus 56 so we might just do away well, actually, no, we'll keep those. We'll keep that room there, but we'll add this in here. And hopefully then that'll switch. Let's speed things up from a mess hall to a great hall. Is someone going to come down and do that for us? Bing! Didn't switch. And it's dead. <laughs> and this hasn't got any water in. Great hall! It has! There we go. Excellent. E extra morale boost in there. That is what we want to see. Cool, very good. Okay, and this guy here is actually letting out some nasty polluted oxygen, but germs as well. Slime lung in there. Let's just read what it says about this morb. Yeah, he's a scavenger, blah, blah, blah. Severe disease risk to humans due to the thick slime it excretes to surround its inner cartilage structures. So I don't think there's anything much we can do with this guy. What we're going to do is get rid of him. Uh, what do we click on here? Oxygen. Where's the? Where's he gone? Click on it. Morb. We're going to attack him. I don't know who's going to do that, by the way. <laughs> we need to... Pending attack. Is someone going to come along and do that for us? Um, obviously, we've got... Yeah, we'll leave that like that. But we've got so much oxygen in our base. Look. That this oxygen will kill germs anyway. So I don't think we've got a huge issue. So we've got some slime lung there. We have a look at that. 4,124. It's moving around. It's gone. 5,000. There's quite a bit of slime lung actually. Spreading around. Hmm. Just wondering whether an extra thing to get rid of polluted dirt would be helpful. Airflow tile. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pop an airflow tile there. Is no one going to attack him? I feel like we've got to give somebody the right job <laughs> to be able to do that. And I'm not entirely sure what. Aha, uh -huh, yes, the priority screen. We haven't looked at this yet. Um, so attacking skill. Set the priority for attacking. I want to sort this by who's got the highest skill. Oh, there we go. Look, so you've got a pretty much high. So I'm going to put Ashcan on super attacking mode and hopefully we'll do that and then we're going to build that there and oh that's Lindsay and then we're also going to put a deodorizer on that just to try and deal with this where's Ashcan is he eating oh he's eating up down here in the great hall and their mood is going to be amazing because they're so happy then they're going to go to Lou then they're going to go to bed okay excellent well we'll leave that keep on going have we got anything else we can plant in there no so we really just need to make sure that this research gets done. I'm going to put that on a 9. We really, really... Oh, we got this as well. You all told me in the comments what to get. Some people say get more people. I just don't feel like we need more people at the moment. So I'm not going to get another person. But the lava eggs, slimy critters that consume carbon dioxide, skewed crude oil. We're going to have those. So they are going to get put away in critter eggs in here. Skill points. Who's got the skill points? Uh, Ashcan. Excellent. Okay, he's done his cooking and grilling. Uh, we're going to get him also to do... Your, you like doctoring. So maybe I want you to double up. You've got a seven on medicine. Yeah, go on then. Double up on that. Definitely. And then we want to get these swept up on a nine. There we go. Cool. Very good. Oh, combat. We have combat. Here comes Ashcan. 
Oh, he's going to blast him with his ray thing. He doesn't fight back, fortunately. So, that pop. And there he goes. Good. So, hopefully, that is going to help. Invalid building location. That should be okay there, shouldn't it? They're on an eight. We've got loads of things on eights and nines. So we just want to basically wait for this research to be done. And then we can... Oh, there we go. Look, they're popping it in. Thank you very much. Just to get rid of some of this other polluted oxygen around about the bathroom area. And these are airflow tiles, to be honest. Could... I mean, I don't know, actually. Let's have a look. Airflow's going around fine. I was going to add in some more, but there's no real need. The odorizer, excellent. We'll just pop that on a seven. Oh, Lindsay's got her top tidying skills going on there. Um, what is she good at? Ev ev evacuation, excavation, machinery. Maybe we'll put you on machinery. You've got no other loves, have you? No, okay. Well, we'll put you on operating. That come in quite handy, I think. So we've got these little area areas here where we've got uh, things that are buried, buried objects. I'm trying to sort of get a few of those, and I'm hoping we're going to get another mealwood seed. Oh, you're hungry. Go off and eat then, because that would be really good. There we go. Grabbing the food. Come and sit down in the great hall. Use the loo. Excellent. Don't drop your food on the floor, Frankie. I've told you about that before. How is the germs going now? Oh, germs are fine. Germs are contained. What is this? What is all this? Floral scents germs. What? I've never heard of floral scent before. There's so many new things in this game. Floral scents. Disinfected by solid gas oxygen liquid. But what does it do? <laughs> it's a disease, apparently. Well, I would imagine that's a good disease. Oh, someone's caught something. Frankie's got food poisoning. Well, okay, not much we can do about that. Darn it. We also are getting some meal lice here, which we're not really doing anything with. We've got lots of omelettes as well. I don't know where they're coming from, but um, people could be eating those. Uh, so I want to get another microbe musher, another little cook room set up. I mean, this sort of seems like the best spot for it so i'm just gonna pop in here do them on a seven we're gonna make this a little washroom for coming in wash your hands when you come in like this one and you can't leave out the other way so that will work out fine let's pop a little wash basin research complete fantastic all right we'll just get this turn that thing off let's get the food going in here we've got electric grill as well i'm gonna put that in and we're gonna have a look at it i'm not quite sure what that does but I guess we'll find out. Uh, and I'm not sure whether our power system is able to deal with everything. But we'll pop it in and we'll see. Do not come in and out of that door. What do we have? Insulated tile. Yes. So let's just slow things down. Let's look where the heat is coming from. Basically all across the bottom here. So this bit here. I mean we don't want to open this up. So I think we want to just sort of build along here. I just we need to just shove them in as quick as possible. Hmm. We've only got these. The low thermal conductivity of insulated tiles slows. I think we're going to be okay. I'm going to use this thermally reactive. What does that mean? Requires little energy to rise in temperature, and therefore heat and cool quickly. No, we don't want that. So I think we're going to have to just do it out of sandstone because that is all that we have. And we're going to build that uh, like along here and just try and stop this place from heating up. Um, what have we got in here? Carbon dioxide as well. Let's maybe go with that. See how we go. We're going to dig that bit out. And we're going to dig this bit out. So have we got anything in our buried stuff? Yeah, millwood seed. There we go. Fantastic. We'll plant that. And then we'll get rid of this ladder as well. And pop one in here. And hopefully that will help. What else have we got? Ice maker. Icy fan. Space heater. Converts water into ice. Uses ice to dissipate. Okay. So it's like a process going on there. To dissipate the heat. So it might be that we end up coming back to something like that. We will see how that goes. So I suppose the test now is once they've done all of these. Is to look at these ones here. So the one next to the ladder. 23.7 i'm gonna make a note of that 23.7 left of ladder 23.8 <laughs> and see how that goes and hopefully we can sort of 
Is there any other temperature coming in anywhere else? I mean, this is all okay. This is all okay. I mean, there's this heat up here, which is like nuts. If we open this, we're going to boil everybody alive with the steam. But that seems like quite a distance. There's this heat over here. Which is probably slowly crawling in. Yes. Oh, my life. Right, let's have a look at our recipes. That needs to be set when you come in. Which was the same as that one. Yeah. Uh, what can we do? Mush fry. So that's going to fry a mush bar. Omelettes. Fried mushroom, gristleberry, pickled meal. Oh, nice. Okay. And then what are we going to get in this one? Lice loaf. So that is mush bars. Frying mush bars. Which is going to add... It takes extra water. And uh, 800 k cows instead of... So it adds an extra 800 and it's not so grisly. It's now terrible. Oh, there we go. Look, what am I talking about? I was reading the wrong one. Yep, 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 yep. Mush fry. So it just fries it. Takes it from grisly to terrible. So we could do that. We've got enough power. So I might put that on forever. Put that on an 8. And then say, you can't consume... Uh, where is it? Over here. Mush bars anymore. So they have to be fried. And then this one here is going to make... Is there something we can do with a lice loaf? Pickled meal. Uh, with the meal, I mean. Regrettably, meal lice. I might just do pickled meal forever as well. Because we've got that. So hopefully if you can get frying with those... Yeah, we can start... Up in our food game, maybe. There we go. And we've got some in there. Muckroot omelettes. They've got omelettes. They can eat omelettes, can't they? Consumables. Omelettes. Yeah, they can eat the omelettes. So that's fine. We've got plenty of food. Good. We'll go with that. That has got to be on an H. We do not want people dealing with the food without washing their hands first. Otherwise, we are going to get a problem again. But we should be fine. We've also got a load of bristle berries. So I could set those to be forever done as well. I like this new way of doing it. So you can have more than one thing on the list at a time. That is just fantastic. So we're going to leave that one going. Let's have a look. What have we got? Choose a blueprint. Oh, more lava eggs. And more people and puffs. Exercise. Excrete lumps of slime with each breath. Yes. We're going to take the pufflet eggs. Thank you very much. And then we need to start thinking about what we're going to research next. We've got the decontamination stuff going. We've got the heat protection stuff going. Let me just have a look through and decide. Why not let's go for the ranching stuff so we can start maybe getting some of our animals placed down into different places and work out what we're going to do with them. Uh, they need to be swept up like instantly to so get that going. That'll be fantastic. And I think the, the people that we've got so far are okay. What's that now? 23.8. So it's stabilized. It was 23.7. It's now 23.8. And it stopped. Um, I would like to really get all of this done, if possible. And I'm going to cancel that one. So please get this completed. We've got to protect ourselves from all the heat. There we go. The last couple of tiles are going in. Almost. I think that's really good. That's going to block all this heat from coming up to here. I think that's fantastic. We, we probably could do with going a little bit further. I might just add in a couple up here. Just for now, maybe either side. And we'll see how that goes. Oh, they're all eating the omelettes. That's what I want to see. There we go. Munching on the omelettes. Oh, we've got another colony achievement. Let's have a look. What is it? What is it? It's not raw. Have a duplicate eat any cooked meal prepared at an electric grill or gas range. Fantastic. Oh, let's close that. Thank you very much. Yeah, eating the omelettes. Please don't leave that one on the floor. Thank you very much. So we're sort of getting, it says there, the maximum we're using out of 990 watts. So we're 10 watts away from the maximum capacity of that uh, that line, which is fine. That's okay. Uh, I'm just wondering whether... Let's have a look at the decor. So positive decor plus 88 from the light, plus 15 from the lighting. I was just wondering whether just to pop a light in here where they're eating to really max out the decor in this room. I mean, their stress is pretty low anyway, but just wondering why not? That would be a good idea. Make it a nice place to come and eat. Just be interested to see how the decor goes. Oh, we've done the research. Fantastic. Once they finish that, let's have a quick look at our research. 
Nice. So now we have all of these options for our ranching to try and work out where we're going to put our eggs and stuff. We've got critter traps, incubator. So, of course, we need to incubate the eggs. I forgot about that. Fish trap, critter sensor. So maybe let's go for... Oh, we've got to get that, have we, to get that? Agriculture. All right, let's just go down this route. Why not? And get that done. Uh, what is that on? Let's put it on an eight. Get that finished for me. And then we can see what the decor is in this room. 71.5, it's going up. Even though it hasn't been finished yet. <laughs> and there we go. 86.5 right below it. That is fantastic. So yeah, happy with that. So what options did we have in here? Grooming station and shearing station. And then we've got critter drop-off, fish feeder, critter feeder, fish release, airborne critter baits. But we need metal for that. We've got no metal ore. Oh, we've got raw... Not metal or copper. Oh, and we need bait as well. Oh, okay. Fair enough. So, I mean, we could move some of these critters. These ones here. There's a hatch there. There's a hatch up there. Oh, we've got pickled meal has been made. Excellent. Yeah, we're sort of running out of power a bit quick now, aren't we? Um, and that one there. So, we could pop all of those in an area. Let's just take a quick look at their information. So, comfort range 10 to minus 20. Livable minus 30 to minus 70. So, what is the temperature here? 24. Just sort of wondering. I think maybe we'll go up here and try and build an extra room. I'm just looking at the temperatures. We want to sort of block this in anyway. So, I think we'll increase this ladder up here. Maybe up to there. And then pop a little room in here. And we might sort of cover up the the area with our protective tiles but we'll see what happens once they do that and we'll have that as a critter drop off area i was trying to get them to do some tidying up but they're so flipping lazy there we go build oh thank you you're building it anyway well done yeah i don't think we're quite keeping up with our power are we manufacturing um could we just chuck one of these in somewhere no i don't want that in there that'll ruin that room could just pop it down here i don't think that'll this isn't a room is it miscellaneous room so we could just stick it down here oh more skill points that's him gossman yes well done critter ranching two or oh, crop tending let's just put you on something else operating yeah operating there we go get working on that well done yeah we're getting to the end of the day and we're basically not able to store enough power for all that we're using so i'm just wondering whether we need to just change our research to get the larger jumbo battery which i think might be a good idea and we'll come back to this sort of agriculture and stuff a bit later that'll be a quick one to grab yeah just to sort of help us out a bit oh this square's gone down to 24 degrees nice that is what we want to see what do you mean insufficient oxygen we've got more oxygen than i know what to do with uh water's going to start becoming a problem this has gone down we have this water here this water over here looking very very warm 23 that's 49 i mean there's a steam geezer in there or something definitely so mm, oh let's have a look at this what have we got what do we got pinch of pepper seed one nah I don't know. Who do you reckon? Have a look at that. Let me know in the comments below who you reckon we should take in the next episode out of these ones. Yeah. So the plans are we've got this here being built. Get some more oxygen. Uh, oxygen. Get some more power. We're researching the batteries. Yeah. So we can store some more power. And we're going to start heading up here to do some ranching. What do you reckon? Does that sound like a plan? I think it does. Well, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to check out the link in the description below for 35% off the Clay Survival Bundle. And uh, subscribe. Be back here for the next episode very soon. Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.